Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Tom. And I'm Kevin. And we are back with another bat <coughs> rep, a Kevin First Tom mm. slugfest. Because we're tired of seeing you beat me. The terrible twosome. Yeah, that's, that's true. I heard I'm you have <coughs> been on a tear. A I've been on a tear. It's not, it's not a lie. Uh, I have had some luck on my side, though. Tonight, we are coming back at you with a revision of the weather rules. So yeah. Kevin and I have been have been formulating <laughs> some tables, <laughs> discussing Tabby some Richard. options. Tom, you're yeah. our guinea pig. Yeah. Um, so what do we have tonight, Kev? We turned the dial up. Right, we're turning it to weather to eleven. <laughs> oh, uh, weather eleven. Look out. El Nino. Some, El Nino's in there. <laughs> doing some heavy <laughs> snow. Yeah. Ooh. Heavy snow in a intercept mission. Yeah, it's going to be cool. So heavy it's snow, fun. we're introducing a modification on the tacti tactical operations rules, sort of our own version of it, uh, based on it, but slightly modified to make it more playable and, and still exciting and have that thematic feel. You can't um, just leave anything alone, can you? No. No, no never. at all. Never. So, so rules is written, right? There's basically like, you know, you roll, you have to determine if you see them and so we did away with all that, right? So right. the first thing is, there's oh. just a fixed range for when you can make visual contact with the target. Yep. There's a fixed range for when you're in sensor range of the target. Yep. So the main difference being, you know, we, we have our awesome 3D printed custom, you know, visual blip, or radar blips, right? The green max, essentially. Which I'm seeing for the first time in person. They look cool, right? Super cool. So what you know from the blip is the size of the mech. Is it assault mech, heavy mech, medium mech, light mech? Once you're in visual range, you can replace that blip with the actual model of the map. Right, you do, you do a little judo flip there. Yeah. When you come within sensor range, then you have access to look at your opponent's record sheet for that specific mech. That's it. Simple. So we added one little dimension. I wanted to be able to dun, shoot dun, at blips, dun. right? You know yeah. something's there, you might see a shadow moving through the fog. You should be able to shoot at it, right? It's effectively got some cover. Some cover, so we added a a modifier, basically like a partial yeah. partial cover mod. So <clears throat> the way it's working for heavy snow, uh, the visual range is set at ten inches. Yep. Sensor range is still at sixteen inches, which means once you're in sixteen, you flip the record sheet, you replace the model, but anything over ten inches is going to suffer a partial cover penalty. So it's a, what we decided a plus one penalty out to twenty inches. Right. Basically, we double the visual up to double the visual range is going to be right. a plus one. Beyond that, beyond is a plus, plus two. two. So that's kind of how we're rolling with it. Very simple. Very cool. And we have a juiced up piloting skill roll, plus two across the board. It just, is. It is very slippery. Just, just dealing with the, the poor conditions. Yeah. Slippery. No yeah. movement mods. Whatever. They're mechs. They can trample snow. Yeah. No big deal. Dangerously though. They live dangerously. Yeah. So you know, if they do move recklessly, if there is you know too much damage, people are going to be slipping and falling. I think. Yeah, I um, think so too. So in the intercept mission. Right, there are six objectives on the board, which I placed because I am a neutral party in this endeavor. So you say. So I say. Uh, you guys are going to roll to pick sides. <clears throat> At the start of turn two, you. we roll a d6. Each of the objective markers has a number associated with it. Uh, and so when I roll the die and a number turns up, that objective goes hot. If you hold that objective for two turns, you score it. Okay. So the, you know, but really, you just want to get to them. You want to hold them. You want to keep the enemy away from them. And those objectives will stay hot. So every turn we're pulling a new objective. So you can have up to five objectives hot, um, and then the winner takes all, right? So once it's scored, it goes cold. It, it, it yeah. I mean, you call it going cold. You bag it. Go it comes off the board. <laughs> Score the points. Um, other than that, I think that's everything. What else do we need to cover? Oh, what are we doing in, a, in about a we'll month, Tom? Up. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. <clears throat> why, don't you, why don't you talk to our viewers about our exciting convention plans? Yeah, so uh, PAX Unplugged is uh, coming to Philadelphia. We're all going. Um, I think there's like maybe seven or eight of us or oh, something. Oh, that's a whole clan. A whole gaggle, I'm pretty yes. sure is the technical term for a group of gamers. Yeah, it's a gaggle. A gaggle. That's, that's about right. Um, a lance. Yeah, it's pretty a cool. Lance, uh, if you've lance. never been or don't know about it, it's focused more around the, I guess, the board game and tabletop gaming mm -hmm. side of 
uh, you know, packs. So there's going to be game demos, um, a lot of swag to buy. Yeah. There's tournaments for different games that a uh, local gaming group set up. And um, what's the big thing that we like? They have a game library. That oh, yeah. It's probably yeah. like our, our favorite thing there. So they just have a giant... Um, Gaming library. It's like basically. rent a game. Yeah, yeah. and like you can just in, check yeah. a game out with your friends, play for however long you want, check it That's back in, cool. and do as much as you want. So they have a huge section set up for that. We usually go and post up doing mm -hmm. that. Yeah. If you need anything, reach out. Um, we're totally down to uh, to just autographs. Hang out. Sign autographs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, it'll be fun though. So guys, if you see us, you know, stop us, say hi. We'd love to meet you guys. I know some of you are, are from the area. Some of you might be traveling to check it out. But either way, uh, hopefully we see you there. Um, so let's get, speaking of gaming, yes. Let's yes. let's get this one started, shall we? Let's find some ammo bins. Dum, dum, dum. Ammo bins. All right. Did well, you put all your ammo in your set? Did you mod a bunch of mechs? Are these all custom? Yeah, all the ammo's in the feet. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> the highly armored feet. <laughs> Actually, you know what? We didn't talk about the, the class of mechs that you brought. What do you got? So, got a heavy, three mediums, and you, I boom. I fit four assaults into this. One. <laughs> <laughs> All lights, no, uh, fleas for days. Uh, I have a two heavies, a medium, and a, and a light. Right, yeah, so we're to playing. To that point, 7,000. I was just going to say the same thing. We got 7,000. We got so excited we forgot to mention that. So, yeah. But, you know, so it's, in the, th it's in the thumbnail. Or one clan right, mech. Right, one clan mech, which yeah. are absurdly expensive. Um, so, so confused. So cool, though. <sighs> Battleix stuff, bro. Yeah, we've been um, looking at a lot of clans. So. so, yeah, so 7,000 BV. You guys each have a lance. We're going to get started. I need a win. Let's make it happen. All right, well, it's we are... It's not happening. We are ready to get down and dirty. So, guys, stay down. tuned. It's coming right up. Alright, here we are on the planet of Small World, just dangling outside Draconis Combine territory, also very close to that Capellan border as well. So today, the warriors of House Poding defending, holding out in this territory, while the forces of the first Altenmark militia move in. So you can see we've got the six objective markers placed across the board and we are ready to roll for deployment. Kevin and Tom, you guys ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. Defending my, my fresh water sources. They look a little frozen here. As per the fluff, small world is covered in, in icebergs. Two thirds of the planet's surface, fun fact. 
All right, here we are. Turn one after movement. Uh, so guys, nobody is in range to shoot. Snow is blowing hard here. Uh, tell me, Kev, what are you thinking? I'm thinking move forward. Just move forward. That's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, Tom. I'm waiting for turn two so I can find out what juicy, juicy object. object yeah. will I see you've got, hot. what is that, a medium mech over there? Camped by the objective? Yeah, somehow I... So you got your, your light there out on the flank, Kev, you, your, your force generally weight distributed. Very <clears> nice. <throat> Alright, well, uh, we are going to start turn two. Here's what I'm going to do right now. Uh-oh. Whoa. I am going to roll. For a random blizzard? Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, for, yeah, for like snow tornado? <laughs> no, I'm going to roll to see what objective goes hot. Here we go. CS tornado? So we've got... One, five, four, two, two, three, I thought it was and the six. end of turn two. It's the now it's the beginning of turn two. Here we I go, like guys. Five. Shoot. Right here. Yeah. So that objective is gonna go Game active. Game's ready from the start. I don't think he's gonna cap that. I don't think I don't think he's getting across the board. Alright guys, we'll stay tuned. Turn two coming right up. Alright, we are back. It is turn two. The blips are getting closer to each other. Snow's blowing hard. Objective five, now active. Kev, tell us your movement strategies. You did lose initiative. All right, so the two mediums and the heavy went forward. The other medium I have jumped over the river. So it's jump jets. In that objective capture zone. Uh, you're seeing from over here an AC-5 getting blasted across the, the valley. From over here, some LRM racks coming in at this heavy. Hmm. I have some suspicions. I have some suspicions, Kevin. Uh, Tom, tell yeah. us. I spread out. <clears throat> I'm playing it risky. Um, my medium is going to fire two largest. Wow. Okay. And it's firing at that uh, the jumper. Yeah. Yeah. He's taking a. Yeah. It was a hard shot. Um, but we'll see. Yeah. I mean, we've got extreme like, range. We've got extreme weather. It's just an extreme type of game. Yeah. All right, so shooting is coming right up. It'll be quick. Okay, so medium's firing off a couple, couple large lasers. I need an 11. <clears throat> Your group firing? That's bold. Yeah. Do or die. Ride or die. Nothing. It would never happen to anyone. All right, we'll start with the AC-5 in the valley here. I need an 11. Whoa, almost. Almost. Uh, all right, moving on. The medium up here on the hill, furthest up. A pair of LRM 15s. And he's firing at which guy? The guy by the objective? Oh, all the way oh, out here. back there. Okay, gotcha. Tens, because he's in long range. Mmm, so close. Jinx. All right, <laughs> Jinx indeed. And then number three here, he's the last one. He needs a 12. LRM 10, just some missiles from afar. Highly unlikely, but why not? High winds, you know? Yeah. No All good. Right, so nothing doing. So the weather proving to be uh, the best defense here for Draconis Combine. However, but one down. That is true. Well, you have one turn, one turn on objective five here. That's exciting news. For the Capellans, I think the Ultimark Militia will be hard-pressed to get that medium mech off the objective, but we'll see what happens. Guys, turn three, coming up right up. Turn three, can't hit a Phoenix Hawk in winter. Here we are. <laughs> so, uh, objective one went hot, so it is a mad dash also. We have lots of, lots of target blips that have now become real boys. Uh, we've got mechs on the field, so Tom, you've got a crab. Catapult K2, a Black Knight, and a Jenner JR7. Kev, you've got a Centurion, a Trebuchet, and a Phoenix Hawk revealed. Still one of your mechs just outside of sensor range there. Um, but this is getting exciting. So, uh, which one of you guys won initiative? Kev, you won, right? No, I believe I lost. Oh, you lost again? Yeah. This is a scary thing. Tom, Tom's on a hot streak. So, Kev, what did you do first? Well, as you mentioned, uh, Phoenix Hawk darting up that hill. Other two sort of moving forward to get sort of in center, centerish location. Mm -hmm. 
and then my heavy across the river it was a daunting task. Uh, not quite in that objective range, so I'm gonna lose this. Uh, oh, your counter, yeah. This tally, uh, but he will be in range hopefully next turn. Okay, right, so you have to hold those things down for two consecutive turns in order to score them, so all right, to your point, you lost your uh, your investment on that one, but you think it's worth it, huh? Yeah. Getting the objective one on Kevin's playing bowl. Tom, how does that make you feel? Seems cocky to me. <laughs> All right, well, what do you got going on? Uh, yeah, so same thing. Moving for objective one. Got the crab moving up, the catapult moving over to secure the soil. <clears throat> the the soil. The, the soil, yeah. The soil, yeah. <laughs> That's a <clears throat> bonus term. Yeah, the general went flying up the side. He's just trying to keep his mod up and uh, mess with Kevin's brain a little bit, little, little mind games. And that's about it. Yeah, he just, you know, moseying along. So what do you got in terms of fire? Because now we've got, you know, so the, the heavy blizzard guys oh, yeah. are in range now. Mechs have emerged from the fog. Yeah. The mods um, are still awful, so. Yeah. I'm not really putting too much stock in it. What's shooting what? Um, all the mechs are shooting something. The, um, the crab and the catapult are firing at the Phoenix Hawk. And, um. The Jenner's firing at whatever that thing is. Is that a Centurion? Centurion yeah. on the outside. MWO Sculpt. Yeah. <clears throat> and then um, I think the Black Knight is going to fire at <sighs> the uh, the Trebuchet there with the metal. Trebuchet, the name unpronounceable name. Yeah, the French the French back. Or is it, or is it Scottish? Oh, oh. Trebuchet. Trebuchet. <laughs> it's probably it's these probably two. Neither of them. Yeah. Raining fire on that Black Knight. Okay. Uh, some more fire coming across the valley at the uh, catapult. catapult, and the Phoenix Hawk is just trying to shoot that crab. All right, so the, no the, un the unknown mech still raining fire in. I have a suspicion on what it is. I want to try to spy on your sheet in just a moment when Tom's not looking. But uh, shooting, I knew it. Shooting coming up next. <laughs> All right, the unknown heavy shooting at that. <clears throat> Catapult chain firing with first an AC5 and then two large lasers. Whoa. Need a nine on the AC5. No good. Large laser. Need a 10. Almost. Uh, Almost. Almost. All right, so again, the blown snow still proving difficult. Shall we move on? Absolutely. We'll do the Phoenix Hawk up on the the hill. He's going to be firing that large laser needs an eight. No good. All right, Centurion's up, firing with a large laser and LRM ten at that Black Knight needs an eight on both. So just, just a large the hits. large laser. Left, like left arm. arm. Yeah. All right, Dr. Trebs shooting at that Black Knight with the two LRM 15 racks modded and tweaked. Oh boy. Need sevens. Mm, just one of them. All right, so you got uh, a 15 rack hitting. Three clusters looking for three or better. Yep. It's a full house of 15 damage. I don't know. So that Black Knight is going to have to take a piloting check uh, as it's taken a substantial chunk of damage. All right, looks like some right side and a left torso. Yeah, so right arm, right torso, and then the left torso. All right. Okay, first up is the crab. It's firing into the uh, Phoenix Hawk. Needs tens on two large lasers. I'll chain fire them. Close. There you go. There it is. All right. Close. Uh, right arm. Yes, almost, almost a floating critical, but right arm instead. Okay, next up is Catapult, firing at the Phoenix Hawk with two PPCs. He needs 11s, it looks like. So, um, chain firing again. Nothing. Okay, Jenner's up next. Jenner's firing into the... Centurion? It's the closest. Centurion. I'm gonna call him a cataphract. 
Um, he needs nines on three mediums. So I'm just gonna fire them all together. Whoa! Lazy, lazy. Never happening. Okay. And then the last is the um, Black, Black Knight. Knight. Yeah, he's got a large laser or PPC into the uh, trebuchet. Trebuchet. <laughs> I like the beauty yeah. of the beast voice. Yeah. <laughs> the all, candles thing. Why don't you all get a French accent? No. <laughs> Bonjour. Uh, um, with yeah. the broom, right? Yeah, okay. So the PPC is in long and the large is in extreme, so I need eights and nines. All right. I think. Or no, medium and long. So. Yep, gotcha. So eights and nines. Ooh. I get the one. I don't get the large. Very so close. PPC. PPC hits. Another close one. Oh, I saw one. that six, a ten flick up there. Yeah. So that is left arm, left arm taking ten points of damage. Shooting is done. We'll go into the damage recap. Turn three damage report on the Capellan side. Warrior House Poding, the Trebuchet and the Phoenix Hawk both taking damage from PPC and laser fire blazing through the snow. The trebuchet up to two points of heat, otherwise the slant's still in great shape. On the combine side, similar, most of the mechs undamaged, the exception being the Black Knight. Missiles raining down from the stormy skies, spraying damage from the left arm all the way across to the right arm. But it's going to take a lot more than that to take out the Black Knight. Alright, we are back. Turn four. All of the mechs are revealed. Kevin. Oh, Your yeah. last heavy mech here. Marauder. The Marauder. Uh, a legend here at Death From Above Wargaming. So, in other news, Tom, how are you feeling about this over here? How are you feeling about this objective going hot and not a single one on your side of the table? Well, <clears throat> I have no coverage for them. Well, okay, I'm still kind of covering them. Yeah. I feel okay. If this one goes hot next, I'm going to feel really bad for you, but we'll right. see what happens. Um, I gotta get an easy win. Get one. At least one, right? I feel for you. But the crab is up there. He's contesting. So, um, Kevin, you lost initiative. I did. Tell us what happened. Well, <laughs> the Phoenix Hawk. Funny you should say that. Ran up to the top of that hill. Gonna be firing off his flank there at that uh, crab at a large Hard to hit. <laughs> Marauder. Oh, man. Finally caught up to this objective. Still plugging away at that catapult with okay. an AC-5, two larges. Um, these two guys basically backpedaled, walked backwards. Still not threatening this yet, but they could next turn, but they want to get close enough to have a reasonable shot. So they're both unloading onto that Jenner, hopefully take it out if we get lucky. Yeah. Half decent shots, we'll see. Yeah. Okay. Unloading everything they got <clears throat> for the most part. Sounds good. Yeah. Tom? Yeah, on my side, same thing. The catapult planted. He's got good, uh, good PPC range. Um, he's going to be firing up at the Phoenix Hawk. Oh boy! The crab made a beeline. Crab walking his way up. <laughs> a crab line, bro. Yeah, he made a crab line for that uh, objective. <laughs> and uh, I'm smelling a little bit of a crab bait going on right now. Oh, he's boy. building up some heat, I think. Uh, yeah, he's going to fire two larges and a medium, building up a nice. Toasty char on that on that shell of his, <laughs> <laughs> in an effort to sort of cap that Phoenix Hawk. I'll um, see. Yeah, the Black Knight uh, walked, just slow walked it, taking his time. He's not sure what's going on, but uh, he's going to fire over at the Treb Uche, um with his. Uh, it's a Trebuchet. Trebuchet. <laughs> trebuchet. Uh, and then the Jenner, yeah, kept running down that hill. Again, just harassing the back line as a Jenner does. As they do. Dick bought 3,000. And <laughs> he's going to fire two mediums because he's going to build up a little bit of heat from b -b 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 boosting down that hill. Gotcha. Like a speed demon. It's like a speed demon. Yeah, he's got that four mod. It's going to be hard to hit. So, um, all right. Well, shooting's coming right up, guys. You ready to roll some dice? Yeah, man. Yeah. We'll see. This could be a definitive turn, Kevin. Although it's only turn four. Once we get to turn five, we'll know for sure. Yeah. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Here we go. All right, the Alton Mark Militia kicking it off here. <laughs> Tom, start yeah. with the crab. Yeah, I'll start with the crab. Uh, crab's got sevens to hit. Um, he's in super close range. It's going to be good. So two larges. I'm going to group fire. Sevens. I know, it's like, oh, Pretty good, except for one. 
Uh, I wish it was the small that you missed, but so two hit. Uh, nothing super good there. All right, so right torso, right arm kept large, hits that right torso. So right side getting banged up on the Phoenix Hawk, moving down the line. Yeah. Catapults up next, and uh, so he's got two PPCs. I'm gonna um, chain fire them. He needs nines, so it's not a great shot. Um, even without his mods, it's still kind of hard. Yeah, Phoenix Hawk's fast moving. Oh, so Woo. close. Woo! Shit, can I can I check my math on that number? <laughs> he's a three, right? Yeah, three, six. What range you at? Um, long. So eight, nine. Yeah, nine with the weather. It's that weather. It keeps killing you. All right, moving on to Should've the Should have brought your snow boots. <laughs> snow goggles, maybe. I don't know. I don't even know. Yeah, black knight's up next. All right, what's he shooting? He's shooting. You said the trebuchet. <clears throat> yeah, he's shooting the trebuchet. Um, Kevin, what do you feel? How do you feel about a through armor critical to the center torso again? It's a no. solid trebuchet. All right. Solid, huh? <laughs> so he's rocking a nine to hit. Okay. Oh, that is what happened before. It is, yeah. The last battle report. Uh, What's the trebuchet, wasn't it? Or yeah. was it... Uh, no, it might, been the, it might have been the Whitworth. But the I think Whitworth, yes. Mm. All right, Thomas, sorry. No, the baby cool. trebuchet. We were, the baby tre you were reminiscing? Yes. Yeah. So he needs nines. Um, two larges and a PPC. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Holy smokes. Woo! It's yeah, getting chain fire. Chain yeah, fire. I yeah. mean, I would. It's just me, though. Yeah, nines. <clears throat> Get one. Whew, come on, I wish the people see what they hit. Two. Yikes, all right, two largest hit. There's 26 meaty points of heat, though. Mm -hmm. All right, so CT takes eight, oh, left good. arm takes eight as well. <sighs> Last but not least, my j j j j jenner he needs eights to hit with two mediums. He's building up some heat, so I'm laying off into that trebuchet. Gets both. Wow. Yeah. All right. Little little pew pewing. Yeah. Old reliable. Mm. So it looks like eight and a nine. Uh, eight and a nine. So that's going to be left torso, left leg. Phoenix up, turning point blank with a large laser and medium. He needs eights due to all the running. All right. Ooh. All right. All right. They went blow for blow there, large and medium each. Ooh, all right. All right. So, so Tom, this you're taking right torso. Yeah, five to the right torso and um, uh, crap, thirteen. Uh, all right, here we are. Look at that sweet marauder. Is that Po Ding himself, <laughs> Kevin? Could That's be. Master Po Ding. Oh gosh, there he is. He has a marauder, a marauder two. It's a single marauder, first edition. Three <laughs> out. All right. He's firing with that AC-5, two large lasers across to that standing still K-2. He needs six in true podang fashion. Whoa, that's just, not cool. Just the AC-5. Not cool. Manages. But, but it's a commanding shot, 12. So five points to that catapult. Right into the cockpit there. All right, trebuchet's up. He needs eights to unload those LRM 15s over at the Jenner. Looking for a lucky pilot die. Eight is that scary turning point. It's true. It is the inflection Ooh, right, point on them. the curve. So one LRM lands. Looking for clusters. So it's ten points of damage coming in hot to the Jenner. Where at? You will know in a moment. All right, so it looks like 10 points to that left arm. All right, Centurion, Alpha striking over at that Jenner. LRM-10, two large lasers, two medium lasers. Two large lasers? Oh, sorry, one large laser, two medium lasers. I was going to say, what kind of Centurion have you yes. designed, you monster? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to start with that large laser. He needs nines for all of these. So chain firing my way across. Okay. Large laser. Tom holding his breath. Large laser. No good. The the Jenner survives. The LRM large laser 10. shot. Can he get a lock? Mm. Cannot. Medium laser. The Jenner. Ooh, uh, ducking and weaving through the snow. <clears throat> there you go. Oh. 
nothing doing, guys. That Jenner is living to fight another day as it tramples through this snowy battlefield. So that wraps up shooting for this turn. Turn four damage report. Things are getting hot here in the snow. Warrior House Po Ding taking heavy fire. The trebuchet from a concentrated laser burst from that Black Knight has its arm ripped off, losing an LRM-15. The Phoenix Hawk getting banged up just a little bit on that right side. Heat is pretty controlled in the twos and threes across the board. On the Draconis Combine side, the Alton Mark Militia, Crab up to seven points of heat, Black Knight up to five points of heat, and then the Master Po Ding reveals himself through the blizzard, unleashes a barrage of lasers and autocannons at the catapult, scoring a head hit. The pilot is still conscious, but Po Ding has made himself known and is bearing down on the Alton Mark Militia. All right, guys, here we are, turn five, Tom. You yep. think this is the definitive turn? You think this is, it's happening? Yeah, there's too many like close ranges and people in rear arcs and it's gonna happen, it's going down. Something's gonna happen. Well, guys, uh, Tom finally got some luck. Objective three went hot as Black Knight happened to be right in the neighborhood of that objective. Um, scoring, by the way, last round, no objective points scored, but Kevin, you did get a, a point, uh, like a, you know, basically held it for one turn on objective five. Tom, your Jenner claiming on the objective there in the back corner, but you need to hold Potential it to lose it. Yeah. Potential to lose it, right? Yeah. Um, but this we'll see. This one's still hotly contested. Still so, hotly contested. <clears throat> yeah, so what did you do this turn movement-wise? Yeah. I lost uh, initiative, so I moved first. Uh, so the catapult stayed still again. <clears throat> He's in a good spot. Um, the Black Knight, I just sort of again walked him. I was trying to keep them in, you know, longish range. Um, so he's still within three of the objective. The Jenner walked um, to, he was building up some heat, so he's going to get rid of it. And he wanted to stay within the three inch range of that objective in case I get lucky and like knock out one of the, the enemies. <clears throat> the crab stood still, which was a risky move. Um, but <clears throat> I sort of tossed it up. He was building up heat and I really wanted to bleed some off and sort of force a move. So we'll see what happens there. <clears throat> That's it. So he's going to fire. He's going to torso twist and fire back at that <sighs> blackjack. Is that what? A Phoenix Hawk? Phoenix Hawk. Yeah. And uh, the catapult's going to keep firing at the Phoenix Hawk. The uh, Black Knight and the Jenner are firing at the Trebuchet. All right. Trying to take him out. So that's it. I'm cool. all done. Solid strategy. Kevin. All right. Things got weird. Uh, Phoenix Hawk did a jump to get behind that standing crab. Unloading mediums and small lasers in that rear of the crab. Uh, Marauder planted, firing again now at the, this time he changed targets, he's firing up at that crab uh, with his AC5 and two larges. Right, cool. <clears throat> Trebuchet and Centurion continue to backpedal so they now contest that objective and they are both turning their torsos to the right and the tr Centurion's dumping everything in the Jenner. The, the uh, sorry, the Trebuchet is firing medium lasers into right. the uh, Jenner, and then secondary firing missiles across the way at that Black Knight. Okay, and that Centurion's also within three inches of the objective back there, so both are contesting, or just the yeah, Trebuchet? Both. both are contesting. All right, so uh, Tom's going to be hard-pressed. Uh, well, actually, it's impossible, as nobody's targeting that Centurion. Um, so we'll lose the point on objective four, but we'll see what happens up here with the Phoenix Hawk. That'll be interesting. So shooting coming up next, we'll start with the Alton Mark Militia. Yeah. Crab's up first. He's torso twisting and firing one of his large lasers. Just needs a four. Um, the benefits of standing still. <laughs> Just makes it. Love it. And a little eight. All right, so that's going to be uh, left torso taking eight points of damage. Unfortunately, that is the fresh side on that Phoenix Hawk. But next up... Le catapult. Blasting wide. What do we got coming, Tom? So the catapult's got two PPCs at an eight, or at a six, and the medium lasers at an eight. Right. So I think I will maybe group fire. Uh, and all all, or, all, all or, or none. So either all those... Um, yeah, you can't split them up into two okay, separate I'll, groups. I'll chain fire then. That's all right. right. I love it. Here we go. Hit. That's one. Two. He's hit. Now we're moving up. You need eights here. Mm. All right. 
two ones. It's but you got it where it counts. Twenty points of damage into coming his into right arc, I guess. <clears throat> Oh, uh, no. You do need to, that's right, Kevin is correct, right, because you chain fire, the locations do need to be separate, oh, it's and it okay. is in fact on the right side mm -hmm. arc. So the first one is seven, that's going to be right torso. Right torso, so 20 points Ooh. screaming into the right torso. Where did the crab hit? Left? That crab yeah. hit left, but the right torso already damaged on that Phoenix Hawk. This could pay dividends. Okay, next up is the Black Knight firing across the trebuchet. It needs a nine and a ten with a nine with the PPC, ten with the large laser. <clears throat> oh, chain fire. Let's hope for some good numbers. A nine. Not happening. And a nine. Oh, so, oh it's a ten anyways. Right, right, right. <clears throat> Not happening. Okay. The okay, last up is the Jenner firing four medium lasers. It needs a six into that rear. So full alpha strike, huh? Yeah. Now is he in is he in the definitive rear arc? He is, yeah. Pretty sure, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Kevin, Kevin confirms. Here we go. Everything. That is a that is a full house. Ouch. Mm. So I see double right torso and double right arm. So ten to each. All right, Phoenix Hawk shooting into that crabby crab with two mediums, two smalls. He needs sixes into that rear. Oof. Oh my goodness. Only, Only a small laser. laser. Knocked off kilter there by those PPCs, obviously. So that is right leg. All right, Marauder trying to be less embarrassing. <laughs> Firing up that crab. Uh, AC5, two large lasers. I need four and five, respectively. Oh boy. All right. Poding never disappoints, Kevin. Yes. I see, uh, that's, is that straight on? It is, it's in the front. So it looks like that's gonna be um, left torso, right leg, and left leg. So lots yeah. of leg shots, which is appropriate, as the Marauder is shooting uphill there. So Kev. Oh, do I get any cover from that rock? You you could, it's possible. We'll, we'll check it off camera. Tom mm. is Tom and Kevin, both down at Models Eye View. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, he's a pretty big mech. Right leg, I would say, might be. Okay, so we checked it. There is some cover there. If we get down, take a look, that right leg does have cover. So that means AC... he'll do 19 points of damage too, I think. That's right, in total. Uh, that's right, so he avoids the, the PSR for this round. Uh, Kevin, what's next? Uh, trebuchet. So he turned, shooting with his right arm over at that Jenner with two mediums. Okay. I need five. My goodness, I'm just not gonna have a good day. It's very snowy right now. Yeah, we're not we're not having such a hot night. All so right. that is uh, left, yeah, that's torso. left torso. All right, and you have secondary, secondary fire, fire right? yep. Yeah. The LRM rack that he's got left over at the Black Knight, he needs an eight. Doable. Oh, not for me. <laughs> not for this guy. We'll finish up. Centurion turned, dumping everything in the Jenner. He's Thank got God. a smattering of LRM-10, a large laser, and two mediums. He needs six, seven, and eight, respectively. Eight on the LRM, because it's so close. Yep. All right. That's a little better. So that hits. Looks like the other medium That hits. misses, that hits. That LRM does misses. Not. All right, so you get a large and a medium, not terrible. It's a nice way to put it. Oh. <laughs> Double. That's a double right leg on that Jenner. That's that's scary business. Ooh, so that's 13. Uh, 13 points of damage. All right, but we'll, uh, we'll get into the damage recap, and we'll be right back. It's turn five, damage report, the Capellans. So notably, the Phoenix Hawk. It's one pip left on that right torso after getting double teamed by the Crab and the Catapult. Up to five points of heat. Two jump jets destroyed, so that makes in a little bit of trouble. The trebuchet makes it out okay, also seeing internal damage, though, on the right side. On the Draconis side, they make out a lot better. The Altenmark Militia really walking through fire. The Crab and the Jenner being primed up on their respective sides of the battle grid. Uh, but really, the damage getting spread around the board and that heavy armor on those energy-based mechs holding together without a problem. 
So Tom was really hoping for object objective two here to go hot. That would have been awesome. Uh, but objective six <clears> up over here, up on the hill, went hot instead. Yeah, which um, is going to be hotly contested. It is indeed. I mean, that whole side. So we sort of have two separate skirmishes breaking out on the board. One, you know, on the uh, the east side of the map and one here on the, yeah, the west side of this, the map as well. Turn. Right. So last turn, Kevin did secure objective five. So he's got one objective point in the bag. But Tom, it looks to me that unless there is some sort of headshot miracle, um, the Black Knight will, will cap objective three. So you guys will be tied. So you lost initiative. Yeah. So I move first. Uh, the crab walked up and turned around at the objective, um, knowing that the Marauder was coming in. The catapult's working his way forward. He just needs better mods. Like his, his shooting has not been super great. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to slow walk him towards it, uh, meet the Marauder on the battlefield of honor, as it were. <laughs> um, in, the, in the Draconis Combine. Yeah, but after doing the math, like the Marauder was a much easier shot, but the um, Phoenix Hawk is injured, and it'd be really nice to get rid of him. So he's going to continue firing. Actually, him and the crab will both keep firing at the Phoenix Hawk. Yeah, I mean, if you take the Phoenix Hawk out or put it in force withdrawal, Super you're going to cap two, you know, this turn, right? So that, that could be... Well, no, it'll take one more turn to cap. Uh, well, what I meant to say is there's no oh. way the Marauder's getting there. So yeah. you're pretty much guaranteed that one. Um, this isn't taken yet. No, it is It is not. He's marked it for what he's getting yeah. this turn, yeah. That's if, fair. Um, he gets that's, this turn. That's fair enough. If, yeah, if, if. you could kill that crab. It's <laughs> unlikely. unlikely. The Battleetics analysis says... There's only a 12% chance the crab is dying. Kevin. Oh. Oh, then, over yeah. on this side, right. Yeah, the Black Knight, same thing. He's <laughs> making his way. He's going to cap that this turn, making his way here. Continue firing the trebuchet. The Jenner didn't really have great moves to take because it's always going to expose his butt. So he jumped. He's taking a giant heat penalty like an idiot. And he landed <laughs> like an idiot. And he's going to flip his little goofy T-Rex arms around and shoot. But he's building up so much heat, he's only going to fire one measly medium laser. You sound depressed about that side of the <clears throat> and it's just it's just you know we same with Kevin like we just haven't been hitting a lot. The mods are really annoying. Like they're I still been on, hitting a lot. Dude they're yeah. still on nines and tens like to hit. Yeah, it's, That's it's, it's high. On turn five. Lots of fast things. moving mechs too, you know lots yeah. of mechs claiming a three mod. Yeah. Um so Kev, you're up. Marauder just decided to move into the action a little bit, firing up at the crab. <clears throat> Phoenix Hawk bailed kind of working his way around the side of that mountain. Uh, but firing up at the Phoenix, uh, sorry, with the, uh, the crab with two mediums. And down here, the Centurion came in closer to the objective, uh, got circled around or jumped over by rather the Jenner, but is still turning, gonna be firing into this, the Jenner and secondary firing LRMs across the way at the Black Knight. Similar scenario with the trebuchet, medium lasers in the back of the Jenner and LRMs across to the Black Knight. Okay. All right, very good. Well, guys, shooting is coming right up. We're gonna start Tom with the Alton Mark Militia. First up is the Crab Torso Twisting, firing at the Phoenix Hawk with two larges at a six and a medium at a seven mod. <clears throat> I will group fire. I'm gonna regret this. Not gonna regret it. For the, uh, you know, do what you can. Mostly, so, only 33% regret. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Not the, wow. That's that right torso though. Yeah. Kevin, is that the injured right torso? Sure is. Taking eight. Actually, you're in the left arc. Oh, is he? He is indeed, he's in the, he is indeed, so Kevin, arc, in the left arc. Strategically. So twice. six is left leg, so eight, to the left leg and 11 is the right leg. Okay, up next the catapult has two PPCs for that Phoenix Hawk right up his rear. Um, well, I gotta keep talking actually, about he's my in rear. A, he's in his left arc, right? He is in the left yeah. arc, yeah. So um, I'm gonna chain fire them because it's a 10 mod. Okay. Which is just atrocious. Yeah. <clears throat> Not even close. Wow. Okay, Black Knight is up next against that trebuchet with a massive 3 mod. So he's a tens. I'm gonna chain fire from the PPC and the large. Come on. And you cannot get lucky tonight. Not even close. Wow, this is awful. Okay. Last up, Jenner. Might as well just keep going, yeah. So uh, just one medium laser. He needs a s uh, nine. Yeah, he needs a nine. 
I get it. He's he's been my superstar. Jenner always, always is. Jenner is always eight. All right. So he is in the left side arc. Right arc. Right side arc. Yes. Actually, is he or is he? Yeah, in he's in the right. Yeah. Okay, right arc is an eight. That's a center torso. All right. So five to the CT. All right. Phoenix Hawk firing up at the crab. Two mediums. Need sevens. Just one. All right. Tenor. All right, Marauder time. Up at the crab. Needs sixes for his salvo. Oh. Got it. All right. That same leg. Or arm. Sorry. Yeah, so left arm, right leg. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, I'm always Yonky. doing crazy math. Yep, and left. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There it is, folks. <laughs> All right, Centurion, two mediums, torso twisting, firing over at that Jenner. He needs sevens on these. Uh, what do you think? It looks a little cracked. <laughs> Just a bit. Ah, same same, same number. It was meant right. to be. So right leg. Right leg. This is on the Jenner. Secondary fire. This is the LRM 10 at the Black Knight. He needs a nine. No good. All right, Trebuchet. Two mediums into the back. He needs sevens on these. All right, both. Rear arc. Rear torso takes five, and then looks like a right arm. Right arm. Secondary shot for that true trebuchet. Needs an eight to hit that Black Knight with his LRM 15. Gross. Here we are, turn six, Warrior House Po Ding making out better this turn. That Phoenix Hawk once again getting double teamed by the Crab and the Catapult, just trying to knock off that side torso and put the mech into withdrawal. But the Phoenix Hawk standing tough, making good defensive maneuvers there. The trebuchet also soaking up damage. Uh, up to five points of heat, but still holding together miraculously, and the other two mechs just doing fine. On the Draconis Combine side, the tables have turned a little bit. That crab getting punctured both on the left arm and the left torso, though no critical hits. Uh, the Jenner also facing a potentially serious foot actuator on the right side there, so internal damage, foot actuator knocked out. That mech is down to a 6-9 movement profile that could spell death at this range. All right, guys. Somebody won initiative for once. Who was, is that you? Me, yeah. Wow, I feel like you won at the entire game. I feel like Kevin maybe only won once. Yeah. Uh, he won all of them for the most part. So, no new objectives, right? Because uh, only five go hot in this. Um, so that objective's never going hot, but everything else is very much contested. Uh, so it's getting late and the, the pilots are getting a little foggy. Um, Phoenix Hawk is doing some desperate moves. He's doing a death from above. Oh, glorious. Death from above. Looking for that head crushing blow that probably will never happen. Marauder planted its feet, firing up at the crab as well. I hate that guy. Um, the usual dance going on down here. <laughs> yeah. Centurion is just shooting at the Black Knight because he just can't hit he's the Jenner. He's the Jenner. <laughs> um, and then the Trebuchet is dumping what he's got into the Jenner. All right. God, that's like a nightmare corner. I did such a bad job positioning that Jenner. It was a dumb but Yeah, but your time I'm blocking it. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so yeah, so the crab stood up. I did a careful stand so I couldn't really walk anywhere. Um, but it was worth it because the PSRs are, it would have been what, a six or a seven to yeah, stand up? Yeah, a six, yeah. And um, yeah, it's brutal. So he stood up. Um, he's going to fire. He's going to torso twist and fire at the Phoenix Hawk. The catapult walking slowly forward to again try to reduce that mod because I've been hitting on like tens all game. So, uh, and the way Death From Above works, we did look it up just to remind viewers. Um, I target him as if he's two levels in the air, right? Because yeah. he's, he's like midair when I'm shooting him. You shoot, I get hit. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, so, right. That's right. So my, but point being, like, he doesn't get cover from my mech. So the catapult's going to fire two PPCs at him. The um, Black Knight, same thing. He's just trying to keep his mod down, but trying to get towards that objective. So he's walking, going to fire at the trebuchet, try to finally kill that thing. 
The Jenner, again, just trying to stay alive, trying to keep that objective tied up so they have to focus on it. He walked around and he's gonna fire two mediums at the trebuchet, try to peel them apart. So that's it, we're done, I'm ready. All right, so shooting's coming up. We're gonna start with Warrior House Poding. See what kind of retribution that Phoenix Hawk can get. All right, the Marauder, looking to knock that crab down. Needs threes, pretty much a guarantee, unless... Needs threes. Oh, my luck comes into play. in the world? Poding. Unbelievable. These are large lasers, but I didn't have time to get the die. All right, well, everything hits. Concentrated in that left torso, center torso, and, and left. CT as well. Ouch! Trebuchet, two mediums, and an LRM 15 into that stinking Jenner. I just want to knock him out. Needs <laughs> sevens. Not easy though with my rolling. Could be though oh, with that. Oh boy! Could be though. This could be the undoing of the Alton Mark militia. All right. So that is going to be Tool 25 house. points of damage into that Jenner. See lots of left leg. See a little bit of right leg. Some, and CT. some CT as well. All right. Centurion firing into the uh, Black Knight there with everything he has. He's got a mixed bag. He needs a sevens, eights, and nines for the medium, large, and LRMs, so to speak. All right. Looks like the mediums miss. But the large and the LRM Seven, hit. no good on the large. Pretty much just the, the LRM 10. Just the LRM, okay, gotcha. All right, what a waste. Four, that's a right arm. All right, starting off with the crab. Tom, can you do it? Yes, yeah, so the crab needs fives on all the weapons to hit the Phoenix Hawk. In the air. Amazingly, he misses with one of them, which is ridiculous. Uh, so, five and six. And so, right torso and right leg. Okay, next up, the catapult is going to fire two PPCs into the Phoenix Hawk, try to take him out of the sky. He needs sevens. Um, chain or group, what do you think? I would group whatever him. misses. I feel like I feel like grouping them is the way to go. You believe in yourself, Tom. Visualize you win. Gets it. Hit. CT in head. Okay, next up is the Black Knight. <clears throat> I have a PPC and a large laser, so I need nines and tens, so I will chain fire. Here's a nine. Don't get it. Here's a ten. Don't get it. The Jenner's only got two. Two mediums to fire the trib. He's been having good luck. He needs eights. Um, just gonna group them. No such luck. Turn seven damage report on the Capellan side. The Phoenix Hawk blasted from the sky by the crab and the catapult. Pilot dazed. The mech just spirals to the ground. Engines damaged skyrocketing to eight points of heat. Large laser destroyed, so this mech not in great shape and in forced withdrawal. The trebuchet is targeted, just cannot bring this mech down through the heavy snow. Uh, the TBT is up to five points of heat though. On the Altenmark militia side, patience has paid off for Po Ding. The crab finally has that left side ripped off. The mech tumbles backwards, fusion engine is damaged, so the crab now in forced withdrawal. The Jenner also in bad shape, the trebuchet blowing off its right leg with a salvo of LRMs. So although that Jenner is still contesting the objective, it's really just a sitting duck now. The battle grid of Small World. So both forces deciding to withdraw Neither really sensing victory, um, Kevin and Tom agreeing they did not want to have this one drag out in a slugfest. What happened? Well, that Phoenix Hawk, as you know, failed that death from above, shot out of the sky, laying on its back right next to a crab, both fusion engines damaged. But, uh, as Kevin described it, 
a, was it a, a smoldering hot slag pit of twisted metal? Yes. I believe was the term. Just a hot pile of metal. That's all it is. And so really it's going to come down to this. Ho Dang against that K2 and the K2 not favoring its odds. So the Draconis Combine, the first alt and Mark Militia pulling back here. The Centurion easily going to move in and contest Objective 6. The Jenner now legless, just easy bait for that trebuchet. So this is it. This is how it ends. So guys, we're going to go to our after action report. Stay tuned for more. Is seven thousand points wrapped up. You guys decided early yeah. withdrawal. Yeah. <laughs> forced withdrawal. Forced and early withdrawal. Yeah. Uh, so what do you think, Kev? You had some some thoughts. Uh, I mean, well, generally, we, I think we both agreed to just wrap it up because it was going to go for at least several more rounds, and we've been playing for a while. It's just the the combination of this mission type, where everything is sort of spread across that large map. And the weather just made for like a a, a long drawn out match that really you know we needed a weekend to play. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it's a good fight. You know, I think we're we're relatively draw. You know, we we could theory how this would end, but yeah, and like mistake. Yeah, it was weird. Like the Black Knight, I was like, oh, I should have been more aggressive moving up with him, but then I wouldn't have capped that objective. Right which in the back, you is just the only don't reason know. I didn't like lose. So there, there, I, yeah, I, I think tactically we all we both did. About as good as we could. I right. made some mistakes with a crab keeping them still and stuff, but it is what it is. Right. Um, I mean, ultimately, it would have come down to I think the Marauder and the Catapult. They're both hard hitters. Down. Catapult has slightly less armor, but yeah. and had a headshot. So yeah, one good headshot. Yeah, take. it's true. Um, so it was tough. I mean, I thought it was they were really balanced mind. forces. Good, good lance matchup. Um, Once again, the Jenner MVP. Always a Jenner always, boy. Always, always. Once a Jenner boy, always a Jenner boy. I want to boy. see like scrolling texting Jenner boys. Like, I can't B, stand B -O -I. the Jenner. Yes, yeah, it's you just can't you stand just, the Jenner. You don't get it. You just you don't just, get it. You know what, Kevin? You live a weird life. I want him to die, <laughs> but that four mod is so tough. <laughs> yeah, and he's so good. something about yeah. The, and the, the Jenners the, are just the F is tough. Yeah, right? it's got all mediums, that all like, that armor. Yeah. Especially in these types of missions, because it can just threaten the backfield. Yeah, that was that was useful. It's a distraction. I honestly, I, I was talking off screen with um, Aaron on turn three or four, I think, when uh, six is it came active, the one up at the, yeah, uh, the, one the, at the radar top. tower. Yeah, um, I was like, I'm gonna just run him right for it because he's so fast. But then you got tar pit. I got blocked. Yeah, I got blocked and tactical maneuvering. Yeah, but it ended up being good because I was just gonna concede that um, objective and so that he would like. Like nest on it like a yeah. duck <laughs> sitting on an egg. Yeah, I kind of just wish I focused on one half the map. The river also added another. Yeah, just I had to bog in the down because you had. To I'm glad of, I did. Yeah, yeah. With, he, with all the PSR penalties because of the heavy yeah. snow, jumping across, crossing the river was a pain. Yeah. Doing anything advanced maneuver wise was a pain. So yeah, it was tough. Does the that death rubber rubber have jump jets? No, just oh, the, so he just slogged yeah. through that river. Yeah. To get across, yeah. He did. Yeah, it was interesting. I don't know. I mean, so the weather thing is uh, is fun. I think the the sort of the penalty, I mean, it's why we reduce the range mods, right? I mean, playing this game when you're trying to hit on 10s and 11s consistently, yeah. it's just not... How do you not... play strategically when you're, everything's a 10? A short range. You know, everything's right. short range. Yeah. Right. You you just, you're just bumping into like, each other. Point that blank, catapult right? like, is a great example. I was trying to keep them back. <laughs> He has PPCs, which are like one of the longest range weapons. They're right. not the longest, but um, and it, like I was consistently in the nines and tens against that Phoenix Hawk because he's a fast mech. You know, you're taking anything over ten, you're taking a minus one four. Yeah. You know, what it's the just, weather, yeah. yeah. So and that one really, you know, statistically makes a big difference. A huge, right? When switch when you're on the well, other other side of seven, right? Prob prob yes. Probabilities, yeah. yeah. Probabilistically, I don't know, but yeah, probably. So I mean, Probably, yeah. When you're on the opposite side of seven and, and it starts stacking up, it, I mean, it adds yeah. up real quick. Um, so I, I felt like I wasn't hitting a lot. Yeah. You had, you, yeah. You were, you were good. Good game, man. It was good. I had fun. 
good not to lose. I'll take a draw. <laughs> yeah. Take a draw. At the end of the day, I can walk out with my head held high. Yeah, the combine. And I think you had it though. To be honest, mm. I, I think you would have. I think you had it. I love the terrain. This one though, it was great. Yeah, yeah it was a good cool. layout. Nice little valley. I really liked it. Oh, is um, that why you're saying you liked it? Of course. Not kidding. It was good. Yeah, I liked it a lot. It was very <laughs> symmetrical, very thematic with a yeah with the with river the, middle. Very cool. Yeah, the ice fishing river. I call fly it fly fishing. I'm not sure what people do. I fished like once in my life. I feel like I'm talking about stuff I don't know about. I'm talking about a lot of fishing. I think a lot of fishing. I've been thinking about it. Yeah, I would love to go fishing. <laughs> That's my cue to wrap things up, guys. Well, listen, thanks again for watching another wacky battle report. Uh, you know, as we test out this new weather system. So, more to come. Stay tuned. Keep your eyes peeled for all sorts of exciting things. And uh, hit us up if you're going to PAX. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, so, uh, right. We'll, if you're we'll going there, down. let us know. We'll, uh, you know, you'll you'll see us wearing our our DFA War Gaming shirts. Should we should we bring our miniatures? Mm, I don't know. It's a tough one. How Just in like, case we get challenged. I don't know if I can fit all of this stuff in my backpack, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. I just yeah. play the paper mats. We look like uh, like I know, I know, I know. Like I'm sorry, what? hard German villains, you know, with like metal cases walking in, like all with serious. the sunglasses, yeah. <laughs> tracksuits. Oh, the ferret on yeah. a leash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but your ferret like walks on its back legs in that weird way the ferrets walk, you know, or with the humped back. They're like lemurs. Or something. Yeah. All right, like guys. Us. Well, listen. Have a great night. Thanks again, and we will catch you very soon. <laughs> wow. Have a good night, guys. Take care. Later.